Hello and welcome to the Avati family. In this video, we'll give you an overview of navigating the system, helping you to get started with your account. When you first log into Avati, you'll be taken to your dashboard. On the dashboard, you'll find a list of today's appointments, any unconfirmed online appointments provided you have the setting turned on, employees working today and what hours they're working, any waitlist requests. Let's now get started with setup areas. To navigate around the web app, you'll find the menu down the left hand side of the page. If you can't see the list, please use the menu button. Once you've clicked on a menu option, I'm going to click on manage where most of the setup pages are found, you'll find the secondary menu. On some pages like this preferences one, you'll find the navigation tabs at the top for more settings. While we're here, on this preferences page, you can add all of your business information. Options you're going to want to pay attention to are business name, email, time zone, locale, and currency symbol to ensure these fields are correct for you. On the employees page, you can set up new employees and edit existing ones. If I edit an employee, you can see the tabs at the top of the screen where you can customize more settings. On the services page, you can add and edit services. At the top of the page, you can see more navigation tabs and if I edit a service, you'll find there's additional tabs for settings there too. Navigating to reminders and notifications, I can manage when emails are sent to customers, set up SMS reminders, and to edit email templates. If you sell products, you can list them all here to make adding a product to a sale nice and smooth. Heading over to the account menu and users and roles, where I can add or manage free admin users, manage each user's role, Change passwords, pins, and email addresses. To set employee working hours, you head over to the roster. There are two types of settings here. Click onto the employee, then normal hours to set recurring hours. Recurring options are weekly, fortnightly, or four weekly. When you want to edit a specific date, simply select the date or multiple dates from either calendar view. Now that you've set up your employees, services and rostered your working hours, let's head over to the appointments page so I can show you an example. To add an appointment, click the new appointment button or click where you would like the appointment to go on the diary and then appointment. In the appointment pop-up window, you can select the customer, select the service, select the time and date and set it as recurring if needed. You can then click confirm and your appointment is now added to your diary. To log a payment from the customer and associate it with the appointment, click on New Sale. The sale will open and be pre-populated with each service associated with the appointment. If you need to, you can add products, charges or discounts to the sale. To add payment, click Pay Now, select your payment method and then Pay. Then you can confirm and close the sale. Let's head over to the online booking menu. As soon as you click on the menu, you'll find your mini site URL listed on the right and at the top of the secondary menu. Whether or not you want to take online bookings, we recommend setting up your online booking mini site anyway, as it controls the pages that customers are sent to when completing forms or managing their appointments, as well as what your email templates look like. Go through each of the pages in the secondary menu of online booking to ensure you're happy with the settings. For additional help and support, you can use the buttons in the menu to send our customer success team an email message or start an online chat. Click help to open our Avatu Next help guides. Click on get started and then can my data be imported into Avatu for information on importing your data from another booking software. Now that you know how to navigate around your account and how to get set up, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions you cannot find the answer to in our help guides. Simply click support or send an email to hello at avatu.com.